Good afternoon and thank you for being with us today. Happy to be here to present uh, one of my favorite topics. And let me ask you a question. If you were guaranteed an extra million dollars in your lifetime, would you be willing to do just one more thing to get there? I want you to think about that as we go through this. You know, there are two irrefutable facts about real estate. One is that real estate is basic and we know it is. And number two, real estate is get rich quick. Okay. Robert Kiyosaki is an American entrepreneur and an author. You might be familiar with this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. The book discusses Kiyosaki's cash flow, I'm gonna try and get to him, cash flow quadrants. And I think this is important because I think this is how people start to make more money. So I really wanted to go over this with you so you would have an idea about it. But there are four quadrants. And number one quadrant, of course, is the employee quadrant. And that's the quadrant that basically says that if you're working for someone else, uh, you have to live within your financial means. So if you're making $50,000 a year, then you have to live within that $50,000. So it doesn't give you the opportunity to go above anything else. And that's how people get in trouble. So if you wanna live an abundant life, you've gotta find another way to do it. Quadrant number two, however, is the self-employed quadrant. And that's where most salespeople live in quadrant number two. But I wanna bring something out to you about salespeople. If uh, the Metris board, which is our uh, MLS, has about 45,000 members, and of the 45,000 members, they say that only 20% of the members do 80% of the business. So if there are 45,000 members, that means there are only 9,000 people who are doing the majority of the sales, okay? So think about that, but know that all the majority of the salespeople are in, in the second quadrant, okay? So if you're in the second quadrant, then you are only limited by the number of hours that you are willing to spend on your business. It's a high cash and a high time business, okay? So if you move to quadrant number three, and that's what we're trying to make you understand or help you to understand today. This is a quadrant number three on the upper right, moves you in mentality from a sales agent into a business owner, okay? That's, and that quadrant is the agents who aspire or prefer to live a life of abundance with earnings of over a million dollars. It's a high cash, low time quadrant. And it's because in that quadrant, these are the people who have set up teams. These are the people who have systems in place. These are the people who are leveraging their business. So from quadrant number three, we're gonna move into the investor quadrant. And they that's the quadrant where they now are really leveraging their self because they have all this passive income from properties that they're purchasing, okay? They have a lot of rental properties that they're now own. So that's a high cash, low time business, okay? So if you take all of this into consideration, it makes you wonder what moves people from the sales employed business up into the business owner's bus uh, business owner quadrant. There's a great book out there called, um, it's written by Jim Collins, and it's called Good to Great. And what he teaches you is that good is the enemy of great. So most of the people who are in the self-employed quadrant are the people who feel that, hey, what they're doing is good, it's good enough, and they're happy and they're really comfortable, and they're not willing to get out of their comfort zone to now move into another quadrant, okay? So if you take all that into consideration, you say, well, all right, so going from the quadrants and how do we get there? So you have to have the willingness, number one, and you have to have the capability. So the willingness and the capability is what needs to drive you, okay? So that's what's gonna now 
push us into our power of one presentation because I believe if you apply the power of one concept to your business, this will give you the capability so that you can move from quadrant two to quadrant three. So I want you to look at the uh, power of one and I want you to know and understand that you can apply this to your sphere of influence, you, you, your sphere of influence, you can apply it to open houses, you can apply it to expireds, you can apply it to for sale by owners, which was what I love to do. I love for sale by owners because I thought they were a very rewarding challenge. And you can apply it to marketing and farming. So wherever you feel you want to do your business, I want you to keep that in your mind as we go through this presentation because you can apply it to any one of these ways that you make money, okay? So let's say now you're going to start working the power of one, put it in your life, and you're gonna, you're gonna make a commitment every day to talk to one new person per day. So if we have five days in a week, we know that those five days in a week will uh, amount to about 45 weeks in a year. We're gonna give you seven weeks off, okay? So now you're only working 45 weeks in a year, okay? So if you're now talking to one person, five days a week, five, um, five, um, five talks per week, 45 weeks a year, that gives you 225 more talks per year. That 225 is a magic number, and I don't want you to forget it, because I want you to apply it to everything you do, okay? So that's the big number, 225 talks per year, okay? So let's say, let's talk about conversion rates. Conversion rates, I've made them very conservative. So if you're talking to 225 people, and you're only converting 33% of these people, that means you're only setting 74 more appointments per year, okay? So out of those 74 appointments, let's say you're only converting 50% of the people that you get an appointment with. So that gives you now 37 people that you're actually working with. They you might be buyers, they might be sellers, it doesn't matter. So let's now say your close rate, conversion rate is 75%. So a 75% close rate will give you 28 more closed transactions per year, okay? If your average commission is based on a $200,000 house, which is really low in our area, that's like a $6,000 commission, your total commissions earned per year is $168,000. Now, who wouldn't want to do that? Is that something that resonates with you? An additional $168,000 per year just by making one more call per day, talking to one more person per day. So I believe that it all starts in your mind, okay? So you have to think about this, you know, are you intentional? You have to believe in your mind that you are successful because you intend to be. You have to believe that you are proactive and that you can generate as many leads as you want. And you also have to believe that you live in a world of abundance. Your only limit is time, okay? So with that, we're gonna end with every day in Africa, a gazelle wakes up. It knows it must run faster than the fastest lion or it will be killed. Every morning a lion wakes up and it knows it must outrun the slowest gazelle or it will starve to death. So when the sun comes up, it doesn't matter if you're a lion or a gazelle, you better be running. Small investments compound big returns. I hope you've enjoyed this session. Don't hesitate to give me a call if you have any questions.